Welcome to the tutorial, Importing QuickTime Movies. So it's not uncommon in animation to see um, a movie within a movie or, or an animation within an animation. People bring in um, videos all the time, either as moving backgrounds or if their character is watching TV or whatnot. Often there's a need to bring an already animated or video recorded sequence into your animation. So let's do this by going to the file menu at the top and by selecting import movie. The browser window appears and you can browse for your file on your computer. So in this case for me it's fireworks MOV. I'm going to say open. So this progress bar appears and it's converting the movie into an image sequence. So if my progress bar appears to have gone faster than yours, it's probably because I sped up the movie uh, more to save your time than anything else. It does take a bit of time to uh, import those movies in. Um, so here where it says many files selected, don't browse again for your movie. This is your, your movie being selected. And you have all the same options that you see when you try to import a bitmap image into Animate or Animate Pro. So I'm going to create a single layer named Fireworks, so I'll, I'll keep that going. I'm not going to vectorize and I'm not going to create a symbol. I'll just leave these. And if you want to know more about the alignment or transparency, you can refer to the video importing a bitmap image without vectorization. I've already gone over these uh, options in those videos. Um, and if you want to vectorize, you can look at the video right after importing and vectorizing images and it explains all of that. So I'm going to say OK. Then we're going to scroll down here in the timeline. So the MOV video gets the symbol of bitmap images because I didn't vectorize or um, put them in a symbol. Um, and they're brought in, as you can see, as an image sequence. So these individual frames, when played together, um, give the appearance of a video, um, but are now kind of distributed as individual images in the timeline. So that's it for the tutorial, importing QuickTime movies. Stay tuned for the next uh, video tutorial pack.